Hey folks, Dino Monoxos here with you again. Okay, check this out. Yes, you did read the intro to this video right. I can't tell you just how long you and I both have been waiting for this new amp. Well, it's not really new. Well, it is, but it isn't. Anyways, it's here and I can finally blab about it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and especially all you two bass amp bass maniacs out there, please give a warm welcome to the Ampeg family, the all new V4B. Now I've been living with this amp for a few weeks now and I can tell you it's everything I remember from the original V4s. 100 watts of all tube kick butt power in a 40 pound package. At about half the weight and a third the power of an SVT, the V4 answers the call from bass players all over that are looking for that killer SVT tone but don't need all 300 watts of it nor the 80 pound workout getting it in and out of gigs. Most importantly though, Ampeg got the hint that there are so many of you that are fans of the original V4Bs, everywhere we went, we'd always get asked, are you guys ever gonna reissue the V4B? Man, you can get everything out of this amp that you can get out of an SVT, and in some cases, some things even easier. For instance, if you want that killer grinding tone that you can only get from a wide open SVT, you can get it from the V4 now without killing small furry animals at 40 paces. <laughs> Or you can get every other sound in between. They can all come from the V4B. Whether you're playing a passive jazz bass like this guy here, I'm gonna dial my sound down a little bit from my distorted sound. Bring up the bass a little bit, engage the ultra low, I can get a nice clean sound out of it too. Bring the master up a little bit. on my bridge pickup, roll off the tone a little bit. So I can go from a passive four string to an active five string. So even with an active five string bass, and again, I'll set my EQ flat, disengage, Everything's set flat there. This is just with the active five string. All the EQ on my bass is set flat as well. Again, nice good slap sound. Even all the way down to a low B. And again, I'll dial in some EQ, bring up my bass a little bit, ultra low, maybe I'll mess around. Uh, that's set at about 800 hertz. Leave my treble alone. So, like I was saying, whether you're playing a passive four string or an active five string or any other bass in between, the V4B is at home with any style or gig situation you can throw at it, especially if you pair it with either of the two new cabs that we designed along with it. Aha, uh -huh, more new stuff. The SVT-112AV and the SVT-212AV. Say that 10 times fast. Anyways, check out my video on those two cabinets for information on just those cabinets. Also, let's face it, looking at the vintage 70s graphics and cosmetics on this thing, it's hard to not call it sexy. I know, I know, I know. I'm getting all emotional on you here. Okay, so now we've seen what comes out of the V4B, let's take a look at what goes into it. The V4B is 100 all tube watts with four JJ6L6s in the power section being driven by a JJ12AX7 and a JJ12AU7. The tube preamp is warmed up with two JJ12AX7s as well. One thing definitely worth mentioning though is the floating suspension chassis that was developed on the original V4Bs. This V4B incorporates that same concept where the chassis is rubber mounted to isolate any vibrations to the tubes in the amp. Zooming in on the front panel, you can see that it's all classic Ampeg. Instead of two identical inputs like what was on the original V4s, we decided to include a minus 15 dB input instead. 
also added was the gain in master controls versus just the volume found on the originals, which should give you even more tone flexibility. The preamp controls are just what you'd expect otherwise. Bass, mid, and treble, as well as Ampeg's classic rocker switches for even more flexibility. The three position mid-range switch allows you to choose one of three mid-range frequencies, 220, 800, or 3K, which can be boosted or cut with the mid-range control. The bass control offers plus 13 dB or minus 12 dB a boost or cut at 40 Hz, and the treble control offers plus 14 dB or minus 17 dB boost or cut at 4K. The back of the V4B offers all the classic features found on just about every single one of our amps, as well as some modern upgrades that weren't offered on the originals, such as a balanced XLR line out. Also, let's explain how the speaker outputs work. If you plan on running a single 8 ohm cabinet, you'll need to just come out of that 8 ohm output into that cabinet. If you plan on running a single 4 ohm cabinet, again, you just need to come out of one of the 4 ohm outputs. If you plan on running a single 2 ohm cabinet, once again, you need to just come out of the one 2 ohm speaker out. If you plan on running a combination of cabinets, which will result in either a 2, 4, or 8 ohm load, You'll either need to daisy chain those cabinets together and come out of the speaker out that those cabinets total, or come speaker out of each of those outputs into each cab. Confused yet? <laughs> okay, so let's say you have two 8 ohm cabs. Daisy chaining them together will give you a 4 ohm load. You'll need to come out of the 4 ohm speaker out into the first cabinet, then jump out of that cabinet into the second cabinet or you can run each cabinet from each of the two 4 ohm speaker outs on the back of the V4B, because the two of them combined equals a 4 ohm load. Got it? Good. Okay, enough of the tech stuff. This amp really is all about tone, tone, and more tone anyways. Listen, nothing will ever replace the SVT. It is still the king of the bass amp world. But if you're looking for a lighter, more affordable alternative to an SVT that'll still give you that all-tube gooeyness, along with kicking you and your bandmates in the shorts, show them what a real tube amp sounds like. None of that modeling, schmodeling stuff. You need to check out the new V4B. And again, like I always say, get out to your local music store and check this amp out for yourself with your bass and your style of playing. Please don't just take my word for it. These videos are here for your reference, and in some cases, your personal entertainment. Until next video, my name is Dino Monoxilis. Play more bass.